Hey guys, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well, the other day I did a video in Maya and Keyshot 6 where I showed you how to model this uh, golden diamond ring. And I received questions, can I uh, explain how to render it out in Mental Ray for those of you who don't have Keyshot, alright? So, uh, I'll put a link up so you can see how you can model this guy. And uh, that said, let's start by looking at it from Maya, all right? So let's uh, drag select this guy and we're gonna move it up so it's sitting on our grid. And we'll just uh, pull it up like that. It doesn't have to lie exactly flat. Let's see, it's actually upside down. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're going to start by setting up a ground plane. So we'll take a polygon plane, hit R, scale that out, and scale it out in that direction as well. And then what we'll do is we'll zoom out. That's a bit much. And we're going to right click and go to edge. And we're going to click and shift double click at the end. We're going to go to edit mesh and extrude. Hit W, pull that up, and then we're going to select that edge row and go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. We're going to increase the fraction a bit, and then we're going to increase the segments to 5. So we've got kind of a smooth background there. All right. Now let's set up some lighting. Uh, we're going to go with a area light. So we're going to go to Lights, Area Light, and there we go. We're going to hit T, so we have the aim control for our light there. And we're going to hit 7 on our keyboard to activate the light, okay? Now, I'm going to move this guy over here, and we'll keep the intensity at 1. And we're going to go down to Shadows. And we're going to make sure that Depth Map Shadows is turned off, and that Ray Trace Shadows are turned on, okay? We're going to increase the shadow rays to 3 and the depth limit to 6. All right. Good, good. And then we're going to hit Control D while having that light selected. We're going to pull that over to this end. And we're going to kind of pull that up a little bit. And on that one, we're going to decrease the intensity to 0.2. And we're going to turn off the ray trace shadows altogether. And we're going to hit Control D once again. Let's see if that one took. No, it did not. Control D. There we go. This one did. And as we already turned off the shadows on this guy, let's just take that control and pull that in a bit. Push this one back and down. And let's look at the intensity. We'll do 0.15. All right. Now let's look for a nice angle for our render. Let's do something like this. We're going to turn on our resolution gate. Let's try that. And let's give some material to our floor. So we're going to select that. Right click object mode. Right click assign new material. Let's go with a Fong E. And let's turn that to black. Okay. All right, let's go to the render settings. We're going to go to render settings. We're going to select mental ray because that's what we're going to use. In our quality tab, we're going to set the overall quality to about 1.5. Lighting quality we'll leave at 1. That's good. A uh, couple of more things we need to do here. We're going to go to Legacy Options. Make sure you've got Advanced Settings selected. And we got Ray Tracing selected here. We're going to bump up these values, Shadows to 6. And we'll set these to 3 and 3. Then we're going to select Global Illumination. We're going to go with Caustics because of our diamonds. And let's bump up the accuracy to 150. Uh, let's see what else. 
final gathering. We're going to select that. That looks all good. We're going to go to our scene. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for something specifically, but trying to find out where it is. Should be here. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we're going to use image based lighting. So we're going to select that. We're also going to go to the common tab way to the bottom to render options. And we're going to turn off default light. Okay. We're going to close that down. We're going to click on our folder for our image based lighting. And this is going to be a bit trial and error. We're going to go to Maya where I have my HDRI files. And I'm going to go with a studio lighting setup. Let's try that. And obviously we need to apply some material to our object. So I'm going to take these two. And actually let's make all three gold. Okay. So I'm going to right click assign new material. I'm going to go with an MIA material, which is a mental ray material. I'm going to go to the material tab to presets. And initially we're going to use copper and we're going to select replace which gives us this color, and then we can tweak that a bit. Let's bring that down. And we'll have to do a uh, kind of a, a trial, if you will, to see how that looks. Let's go back up. Let's see. Okay, reflection is at one. That's good. I want the glossiness up a little bit. Let's do 0 0.6. So initially for a start, that looks okay. Then we're gonna drag select everything and then deselect everything except for our diamonds. Right click assign new material, same MIA material. We're gonna go to presets. We're gonna go to glass solid right there. We're gonna hit replace. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to change the color to white. Right now it's a bit blue. Okay. So we got all that. Um, let's go with a text, uh, a test render. Sorry. I didn't select the size of my image yet. So let's do HD 1080. And I think for a first uh, shot, we're good. So I'm going to pause the video and do a render. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys, like I said, it's a kind of a trial and error thing here. And uh, as far as the floor is concerned, the Fong E is way too reflective. So instead of having some reflection on the floor, we see a complete mirror of the ring. So I'm going to select that and change the material. I'm going to go with the sign new material and I'm going to use a blend. OK, and then we're going to make that blend material black. And as far as reflection is concerned, we are going to go down to reflectivity and let's do 0 0.15. And uh, let's see uh, the eccentricity. I'm going to tweak that. I don't want to have kind of that point going on there. I just want to make it a bit faded. OK, so let's try a new render. Here we go. All right, guys, well, here's our render. Uh, I think it turned out OK. Um, you know, obviously you can do this in Maya and Mental Ray, and there are some differences with the uh, key shot. Now, the good thing about key shot is that you can work fast because you got a lot of presets, uh, especially for uh, jewelry. OK, and there's also a lot of opportunity to tweak the um, the presets. So that's good. Uh, the thing with Maya is you kind of have to figure out how to uh, set up your settings and so forth. As you can see, I changed the floor color from black to white because I had too much light reflection going on. But besides that, this is based on the settings that we just set up. All right. So, yeah, hopefully that answers the question. Yes, you can do this in Mental Ray. And, uh, you know, if you have any additional questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.